Ooh, this is part 31. Uh, last episode, we we did a decent amount, you know. We uh, explored a fuck ton. We found a really cool merchant. Melissa? Mel Mel I don't know how to fuck to say her name. But we're gonna go back to this guy's shack. He told he told us to find the girl. We found it, and it turns out he's a fucking shrimp monster. I rolled into them by accident. He fucking just died. But he's pretty alive still, so we're gonna go check that out. And other than that, we're gonna go kill Commander Neil. He's tried to. Cause last time we fought him, we we're like level 40 or 50, and we had him to half health. But he just did way too much damage to us. Now we are like double our level. Uh, when we get to the shack, I'll check what level we are. And see, but it should be an easy boss fight. You know, I fucking jinked myself just now, and he's probably gonna ram the fuck out of me. But hey, what doesn't, right? Fuck that dog, by the way. First, you must find the unalloyed gold needle. It's hidden somewhere in the deep scarlet swamp of Aenea. Then I will tell you as the secret of the town. Okay, well. He says the same stuff. I'm going to assume maybe that Commander Neil has the shit. Right? Would be my guess. Because he, he's kind of a reskin of another boss that holds the detective medallion to get to uh, Melania. I don't know. Melania. I don't know. Same shit. The hardest boss in the game. You already know. We are fucking dead if I jump from there. Damn it, I can't check the map. I don't know where I'm going. Did we kill that bitch? I still can't check the map. Drop your armor? Nothing, you suck penis. I still can't check the map. You dead ass with this fuckery. Oh, uh, well, we found where we needed to go. I don't think he's dragon rodderable, but fucking yellow flag. No, he's, he has a, he has decent resistance to it. I got stuck on a piece of like armor or some shit. Alright, we poisoned him, which is great for us. But we got fucking Scarlet Rock, so now we're gonna die. We poison him again. You fucking pussies. Bitch. Suck my fucking ball. Mandarin, all annoyed gold needle. Let's go.
What a weird spot to be. I'm gonna be honest. I wonder why he was guarding this area. I wonder what the lore implications are. So he dropped me a weapon and then that needle that one guy told me to find. Where the fuck is that weapon? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest here. And I kind of forgot how the fuck it looked. Like, it looked cool, so I'll probably know it, see it, and I'll be like, oh, here it is. It's a strength weapon. A bat, a beaten red battle center is furled around the time worn halberd. The halberd, even though, even after his lord was fled, Commander O'Neill continued to brandish this flag in the devastation of the raw Eden fields of battle. The sole veteran who remembers this battle with pride. Holy sword man in law from the running command, raise attack point, defensive okay, so this is a good weapon. So it's a spear. Can I use the So we could use it, so I might I low key might just like equip that right before a boss fight, you know? And just buff myself. I gotta find where the fuck my uh my katana's at. Yo, Megan, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate you. So the moon veil causes more bleed. Gunner, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate you, baby. Okay, we can remove this now. And now we just go back to the shack and then we teleport to the to the church where that girl's at. And I guess we give her the needle? Maybe that'll cure her uh, scar rot. I don't know. But what secret of that one place, the town of sorcery, uh, the only place I know it takes you to the Halleck tree, right? But that's the secret he's going to tell me, I really don't give a fuck. It's, that was obvious. When you actually are in the center of that place, it literally tells you that there's a door blocked by magic. Okay, we don't want to get in front of the dog, so we're going to stay to the side. As promised, I go on. Now, let me have a look at the needle. Mm -hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan. A meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time? That guy's fucking evil. As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Can you give me as well made? Did I actually give it to him? No shot, right? What the fuck is this? We got 10 dragon hearts, bro. So where are the secrets of the Halleck tree? There you go. That is a shitty ass secret. This is literally what I just said. Fucking dickhead. I, I did promise to show you what level I am. I am one level 108. 
so not bad. We're gonna kill this dog as fuck the dog. Damn. We just murked that bitch. Is there really not a thing here to rest? Or did I pass it like a fucking pendejo? There's gotta be some something in here, right, to rest? Somebody sign right there. Or not somebody sign though, thingy. I mean, I guess we'll, we'll rest right here, and then we'll rest there, go back to the, the shack, talk to him, and hopefully he has something different. Hopefully I didn't fuck up her quest line, that one girl. Melissa? I don't know how to say her name. We almost one shot those guys, which I'm actually very happy about. We're definitely becoming stronger. I don't think we're my great sword strong. I mean, probably if I if I leveled like if I leveled up strictly strength when I had that great sword, like strength only, probably I would have been stronger. I have awaited the needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness. I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? Millicent, that's I will her name. reward you in kind. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her, a mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> now, oh, she's convalescent. Do so. Okay, so now we take it to her. Oh, we're doing a quest line. I like it. I like it a lot. Pretty epic. And I think she's missing an arm. And we have a Valkyrie arm thingy. So, like... I think we can, like... F I don't know what the hell her, her end goal to her quest is. If you are my flesh... You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But... How? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Did I actually make us like turn off our or turn off our screen? Hey, yo, why is she moaning like that? What the fuck? And why am I bricked up? Um, my uh. fault. That was easier than expected. But why do I feel so... She just fucking die. No shot, she, we just killed her, right? We got, we, we lied to by that shrimp man? Did we really just kill this woman? Oh, what the fuck? She's standing up. Baby girl, what's your name? Hey, she kind of fine. Hey yo. I hoped to see you again. My apologies. For when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to rye. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this, by way of thanks, a token though it is. Prosthesis Wearer's Heirloom. 
I'm considering leaving. On a journey, with the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I'm considering with the needle my destiny. Okay, we can't talk to her again. Damn. So what the fuck would what she give us? It raises dex. Oh man. Though born to into a curse, when a young girl encounters her mentor, the flame blade, she gained wings of imperial strength. That's millennia. That raises our decks by a fuck ton, brother. I ain't gonna lie to you. Fuck yeah, baby. So is she gonna be gone when we rest? Yeah, she gone. Fuck, bro. Is he not in the fucking shack? This motherfucker, bro. Huh, I wonder where she went. I'm gonna be really pissed if this motherfucker is not in his shack. He was supposed to reward me. There's two endings to her quest line? What the fuck? Oh, uh, we don't want shot him. What? We increased our decks and tell me we won't one shot these guys? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck you, dog. Oh, she's in the shack herself. What the fuck? Oh, hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me, so I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find. I was fucking here. griefed here. But I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. Well, I must fo I must stay. Okay, she's gonna dip somewhere. I can't believe her quest line has two fucking endings. I I'm curious. Because we have to give her the Valkyrie arm, right? And she looks like a bullaked like Melania. Blade of Nicola. Destroyer Bass. Annoying fucking boss. Cause there's no shot she makes it to that boss, right? If she makes it to that boss and helps you, I'm gonna cry. Tears of joy. Alright, we rested, so I wanna see if she's still there or not. And see if that guy returns. See, we almost one shot that guy. Oh, look who's fucking back, huh? Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin her journey and stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the 
lost sorceries of the Salians. Just Releases life sapping silver mist before caster. What does it do? Did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, i found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. Please make certain that little Millicent goes unharmed. Like her mother, she has the stuff to be a great warrior, but commands only one arm and is yet preciously young. Do you... Do you need me? Okay, well, we can't really get much from him. Hmm. So where the fuck has she gone? Here is where she went. The noble gold mask. I wonder where that fucker is at. That's where the turtle's at. Sorcerer tops. Light seeker and Netta. I think we checked the whole map. I have no clue where the fuck she could be at. Unless she's like dead ass somewhere. I this box right there. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna look at the quest for her because I'm curious on where the hell. Dexterity by five. Find Millicent there and speak fine will need the Valkyries prosthesis. 
archery something sign of grace where the fuck Tree grazing hill. She's somewhere there. Why is she, she popping up on the fucking thing, bruh? If you didn't see her last time, Millicent can be found standing a short distance to the northeast. Approach her and offer up the Valkyrie's prosthesis. Afterwards, make sure to speak through all of her dialogue, then travel to the far north side of Alpha's Plateau, all the way to Domin Nulo Windmill Village. You'll need to make your way up through the village and defeat the god skin apostle at the end. He's a tad difficult, but nothing he's strong. Alright, we we murked that shit. I see her already. Damn, this game's a bitch, bro. She's like right here and it doesn't pop up. And I've been here too, and there's a bunch of messages on the floor. Oh. What's up, baby girl? In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. I'm happy. The scarlet rot has stilled since last we met. And you're pretty as, as hell. Such, I've been able to continue my journey, though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Are you giving me this arm? Thank you. I am in your debt yet again, I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. If the arm, it might be perhaps that. If the arm, it might be perhaps that. Alright, and then we go to the crazy lady fucking shit across the map. Fuck. Listen, I'm not going to the mountaintop of the giants. Like, suck my fucking balls for that. Ah, oh, we meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle. Should you ever have the need, I would have you call upon. It is the. I would have you. It is the only way. Sight of grace. In order to access the mountaintops, you'll first need to acquire two of the great runes. I recommend that Melina will give you the old medallion, which you can use to take the grand lift of gold up to the mountaintops. From there, it's a short distance north to reach the ancient snow valley runes, where you can find and speak. Now this is actually an important checkpoint for Millicent's quest. If you don't complete her quest up to this point and speak with her before initiating a certain ritual with Melina at the Forge of the Giant. 
I mean, so where we're at in the quest line, right? We can't do nothing at this point until we do the mountaintops of the fucking giants. But that could suck my fucking penis, bro. Cause there's no shot. No shot. Alright, let's explore this last place. And then we'll call it there for the, sh for the video. That's pretty cool that she has multiple endings to her stuff. And she's like a bootlegged Melania. Red hair, she gets a prosthesis, and she has the water blade, waterfall dance shit. Am I griefing? shot the dogs good to know tap that dog for some reason So what the hell are they guarding here? What the fuck? We got their weapon. Hot uh, grease? Ew. That's fucking gross, Adi. Bitch. I mean, we'll kill you because I don't like I don't like you shrimp people. No cap. Poison bloom? I wonder what boss is in this area. I don't think I've ever been here either. Man, watch it be something hard as fuck. I'm gonna start crying. Oh, we found the dungeon area. I miss. I had him ahead, so there's no boss. What the fuck? Okay, well these guys just have infinite stun for being a bunch of short bastards.
For real, for real, fuck those enemies. Those guys are almost worse than the fucking giant shrimps. What's the point of this fucking... Oh, there's a door right there. Kind of expected to be an item right here. But I guess the fuck not. Liar ahead. Pressure item ahead. Meteoric Ore Blade? Isn't this like the heaviest katana in the game? Does magic and physical and it requires 18 intelligence. Katana forged from meteoric ore to dispatch life from born fallen stars deals magic damage. The blade is weightly known to deliver slashes of such ferocity that impacts said to resemble the crash of a final meteor. Pretty cool. Might use that eventually. Who knows? Anything hidden right here? No. Damn. Are you telling me there's no bad guys here? Or a uh, boss here? There gotta be a boss here. There's no shot, right? Mushroom people don't scare me, so. There seems to be a dungeon here. I already don't like this dungeon. Not gonna lie to you. I sense the fuckery ahead. Oh, there's a thing. Gold cave. The chest right there too? No way. Rune arc? Ah, I mean, I'll fucking take it, I guess. We'll rest to get our heals up and max our health out. And then we'll check the map to see if we can summon people here. No, we get invaded here. Man, suck my fucking dick. Nothing there. Nothing there. Type of fuckeries lie ahead of us. It's no shot, it's just rats, right? What? Excuse me? We have to go that way. Oh, wow, see, there's no what the like. There's no way that this is just the end of a cave. I motherfucker, bro. I uh, that shit. It scared me. I'm not gonna lie. For a second there, I thought I was being smart and they were gonna blow up that door. But I guess not. A lot of these guys trapped behind shit. What the fuck? Where the fuck did you come from?
Turn my alarm went off. Spook me. Seems familiar. Don't tell me this cave is gonna have like. No, can't go in there. We got their weapon, but that shit's trash. Bastards. How the hell did you die? No, you just walked into something. Nice bait, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not gonna I expect it to get trapped right there. Right, so this is a shortcut, thank god. Let there be chaos? Oh, you freed everybody. I find the right path right off the rip. No shot, right? No, this is a fucking shortcut. What the fuck? No, this is the right path. Cause there's a door back here, is there not? Or am I tweaking? I fell down a hole. Damn it, I thought I was being big brained. Fucking the travesty. Alright, so one of these doors that have the bad guys in it is the right way. Question is, how the fuck we finna find it, brother? Bitch. We were just in there. Isn't this a... Seems familiar. So where the fuck does this take me? Patori shield? What the fuck? The shield all made of good sturdy wood. Only makes it tool for perhaps this device. It raises vitality, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? That is so stupid. Okay, I, I'll take it, I guess. If I do like a crazy vitality build, I guess I know what to use. Have we been through over here? Am I tweaking?
Gotta make sure because it might be an invisible wall. You never know. That was a dead end. That's a dead end. Is this a dead end? Yeah. Am I tweaking right now? Yeah, I'm tweaking. Wait, let me read the message. Hang on. Yeah, so we've been here already. Damn, that little spot right there like fucked me up mentally, bro. That motherfucker. Well, that's fuck all. Key. Rune 4. The Wakasashi. Is the Wakasashi good? Did I not just pick up the Wakasashi? Am I tweaking? Wait, is this a dagger one? Yes, yeah, so this is the dagger one that Chewie gave me. So this is where you get it, huh? This cave? That was like the right way to go, I'm not gonna lie. Try luring out. Have I even been over here yet? I don't think I have been here. Oh man, I'm a fucking dumbass. This is where the rat was at. Dude, this cave is like fucking up my mind right now, I'm not gonna lie. What's up, Chewy? Are you uh, on Xbox right now? I'm gonna invite you to the party. Okay, so this is new. That was the hidden path right there. Rainbow stones. Golden room. Trying to wake up. You're sleeping this whole time. Nothing in there. I didn't fucking jump for it, you know? I would have fucking died. Oh my god. What the fuck? I summon my six rats. Oh, you are fucking dead, bubble. Wow. My man got putrid corpses, ashes. What the fuck? Turn to entrance. No, thank you. Limb grave. What is over here? Renala of the Echad. Is this the one weapon that uh, Jesse had? Church of Miracle, huh? Nice fucking glowstone. That's what I definitely want. Oh, well, we'll see if uh, it's a good weapon or not.
stray sword and has magic. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't think I ever use it because I'm gonna be a Dex guy. And like strictly use, you know, katanas and shit. So I guess all that for that, huh? Uh, I mean, it's a cool reward. Kinda wish we got more of a, a different boss than that stupid fucking duelist guy, but whatever. Alright YouTube, this is the end of part 30, or 31, let me check, 31, this is the end of part 31, I will see you guys in the next video, appreciate the love and support, bye bye.